So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the changing of the filters, the CTOQ filters, the MAQ15 filters, and the CTOQ post filter. Most important thing to remember is prior to changing out any of the filters is to move the service valve into a bypass position. This will give you continuous flow to the coffee, ice, and espresso so there's no downtime. Always recommend using a small clean towel to put underneath the first CTOQ. When you go to change this filter, all it is is a sanitary quick change. It turns to the left, it'll stop, and then you just work the filter down out of the system and it'll come down. You'll get a little bit of water there, but it'll only be a few drips. You take your new filter, new filter comes back in, and the tabs you'll see, this filter will only go in one way, so don't try to force it. Line it up where the tab moves in. As soon as it pushes up all the way, turn to the right and you're done. You're gonna do the same with the same, uh, with the second CTOQ all the way down. New one comes in, sets back in the same way. And once again, don't try to force it, pushes up all the way to the right. Then you're gonna move on to the MAQ15 filter. This is the mineral addition filter. Same way with that. Make sure your hand is underneath to catch any excess water. Turn to the left, work that down, and they'll come out. You'll notice when you take the MAQ new one to go back in, it's gonna be very, very heavy. It's typically gonna be very light when you take it out because all the mineral addition that's in the filter has been dissolved. So hold on tight, this is a heavy one. Put that all the way up into the head once again, line it up, as soon as it's in, all the way to the right. Now you have your three CTOQ filters that are already set up and ready to go. Now, before we put the unit back into service, there's one other thing we have to do. We have to take the line off of the tank. So your system is either gonna be a standard system, which has the white buffer tank on top, or it's gonna be a high flow system like this one in the picture that has the large blue buffer tank and doesn't have the white one on tank. The system is exactly the same. So what you need to do is remove this line, which is the product line. So that's coming from the RO system. This has a quick connect valve on here and I'm gonna show you how to remove that. This is a, what we call a John Guess quick connect fitting. You'll see the blue line goes into the white collet and then into the black valve. This little collet on the outside needs to be pressed in with both fingers. So the best thing to do is take your index and middle finger, push that towards, put your thumb behind the valve that supports the valve, and you press literally against the black valve. With your other hand, you push towards the valve, and then as you're holding the valve, the line will pull out from the valve. So that's a quick disconnect. When you're putting the valve back in with the tubing, you make sure the tubing is nice and straight, goes into the opening, it'll stop, then you push in a little further and it'll lock in. So it's in, so once again push on the collet, tube towards, and then pull out, and that'll come right out of the valve just like that. Okay, once the line is off, then what we're gonna do is you wanna have a pitcher or glass or something where you can run this water in. The reason you're disconnecting and running this water in is because the mineral addition filter, because of its mineral, the water's gonna come out white and cloudy. So we don't want that going into the tank, that's why we wanna flush that out. So once you have the filters on, you're gonna go from the bypass position, slowly down to the service position. You'll hear the water start to go through. It'll take a minute or so for it to work itself through the new filters and the MAQ filter. You'll hold that over the glass and then within a minute or so, the water's gonna to start to come out. It's gonna have air bubbles in it. It's gonna be cloudy and white. You typically wanna run that water until the water is free of air and free of any white or film or cloudiness to the water. Once that is done and the filter is flushed, then you can go back to the filter or the hose can be put back into the valve. And once again, you just line that up. It's very important that it stays straight goes into the John Guest fitting, it goes in a little ways and it'll stop. And then you just push a little further and it'll go right into the valve. You can pull back just to make sure it's locked into place. 
Okay, once the three filters are changed on here, once again, the first CTO cues, the MAQ15, now we need to change the QTP filter. This one here is the post filter, as you can see in the applications on both of the installation setups. This one here should have a valve shut off on the left side. It should have a blue handle or a gray handle where once you do this, you want to make sure that this you're not in a busy situation where the drive through is full. You want to do this on a slower time because once you shut this water off here, that will stop the water flowing to the coffee, ice and espresso. So the system will still stay in the service position. And then once you have the time to change, you're gonna turn this blue handle, it turns a quarter turn. That automatically shuts the water off going into the post filter on the QTPT. This filter here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you hold on real tight. When you put your um, towel underneath to catch water, it's also to make sure because this one's gonna have pressure because that had line pressure on there. Sometimes uh, baristas will even, or service technicians will even slide a trash can, a plastic trash can around there and that'll catch that first burst of water. So it's important to hold on real tight and get a hand down the, on the bottom. Once again, it's just gonna be a quarter turn to the left and then the filter will come down. Now on this here, obviously I'm taking it off the wall here. It's not mounted. That's just gonna come out. But when it first comes out, it is gonna be under pressure. So very important to know. Then you discard the old filter, get the new filter back in. Filter once again only goes in one way. So just turn it until the little ears line up. And we're trying to get that done now. There we go. Push all the way up. Once it's in there, right turn to the right. This is gonna have your gray hose or another hose that connects to the system. Once that is on, it's very simple. You just slowly open that valve there and you're back into service. Okay, one important, a very important thing to remember on the QTPT post filter is that these are marked on each side on the inlet and outlet. In the event that a valve was put on this side instead of this side here, it's important to confirm. You'll see this side here says in, this side here says out. In some occasions, they can flip the head to turn it to where the out would be on one side, the in would be on the other. But the way to verify and confirm is on the side of the manifold, you'll see it marked in and out. So if there's a valve over, over here and this side here is the in, you do not want to change this filter until the main water is shut off or till a technician can come out and change that back. Very important message to remember. Now we're gonna discuss changing the AMS QT, which is the reverse osmosis membrane. That is the third one from the left, and it's clearly marked AMS QT. And you'll also notice on the bottom, it also has a quarter inch black line, which is a reject flow control line that connects up to the system. When it's time to change this filter here, and this will be changed as needed with either water production going down or the quality of water changing, this will be changed at that time. The steps of changing the AMS QT is very similar to changing the CTO cues and the MAQ15. The first thing you do is go to bypass position. Once you're in bypass, your coffee, ice, and espresso is still working, so there's never any downtime. On the AMS QT filter, the first thing we have to do is we have to connect. There's a control on the bottom here at John Guess Fitting, it's a 90. And I'll let you have a closer look at that. Or do you want to do that later? I'll do that in a second. Okay. So at the bottom of the AMS QT, we have the uh, drain line, which is the black quarter inch line that's quick connected to the bottom of the fitting. Once again, as we remove the line on the tank, we're going to do the same thing with this one. If we take our two fingers and slide it across the bottom of that, push on the little sleeve, that will automatically release. When we're ready to change the AMS QT and in the bypass position, we have to quick disconnect the black uh, drain line on the bottom. Once again, with your finger, middle finger and index finger, slide it around the black tube. This one has a gray collet. Put your thumb behind that fitting, push and pull the line out. The black line will come out. You will get a few dribbles of water and stuff that'll come out of there. 
and now we're ready to change the AMS QT. With one finger holding over the plug, you're gonna then remove the filter. If you don't do that, as soon as you release, water will come out. It won't be under pressure, but this will stop water from going on the floor. It just do a quick turn, just like the CTO cues, work it out and come out. With your finger over that there, once again, if you take your finger off, you're gonna see water coming out of there. Okay, once you receive your new AMS QT, you're gonna remove that from the box that shipped you from Clean Water Guys. The first thing you'll notice when you take this out is it has a blue cap on the top there and it has a piece of Teflon tape that's underneath the cap. So when you pull this off, you're gonna to wanna to save this piece of Teflon tape because we're gonna to have to put that over the threads on the fitting that goes onto the bottom. Once that is set up, you'll notice on the bottom here, it comes with a gray tube and you simply just grab that and pull that tube off, which exposes the threads. Then we've taken the fitting that was on the old AMS QT filter. We've unscrewed that with a small crescent wrench or a small pliers to where you can just unscrew that by the hex. And then we clean out any old Teflon tape that would be on that fitting there. So now we're gonna prepare this to go back into the bottom of the new AMS QT. And the first thing we're gonna do is put Teflon tape, which is included with it. And that's simply putting that on top of the threads, holding that with one finger, and then you're just gonna wrap this around two to three times and pull it nice and tight. And then any excess, you can just pull off. So on this here, the important thing to remember is that there's no tape in the end there that's, that's not blocked. If tape is around the outside nut, that's not a problem at all. Just make sure that is clear. Okay, once the fitting is all set, we just line the threads up and make sure we get it started properly in to where it's threaded in the correct way. All right, once we have that started, you just hand tighten that as far as you can. Then it's good to use like a little crescent wrench or a little pliers. And all you're gonna do is line that up. Put that on, Let me get this locked into place here. Then you just automatically screw it all the way down until it goes to the end and stops. Once that is all set up, you're all good to go. Then you'll take the AMS QT and that'll go back into place. Turn it a quarter turn. And then before we connect the black line, we are gonna go ahead and turn on the system gradually off of bypass. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to put a glass or a pitcher or some type of container underneath. So before you connect the line, it's important that we purge this uh, membrane out to where it runs about two gallons of water. What we're doing is purging out the, um, the preservative that's in there that protects the membrane during storage and shipping. So once you have that open, it's very important, do not open this all the way. You just gradually open it a little bit and water will start coming out of the bottom of the membrane through that small 90 degree fitting. It's better to use a pitcher or bucket, that way you can run a couple of gallons of water. If you have a pitcher and it starts getting full, all you have to do is turn this back to the bypass and that will stop the flow of the water. Once you're ready to fill up another pitcher, you just drop that down a little bit until the flow comes out pretty steady. Once that is rinsed, go back to the bypass position. Once we have the membrane actually flushed, now you're gonna quick connect the black line to the bottom of the fitting. Very important, once again, to line that up totally straight. This is a swivel, so it will move. You line the black tube up, push it in, it stops. Push it in a little further and you'll feel it go and lock into place. That completes the installation of the AMS QT filter on replacing that. And now we're gonna go through to where you start the system back up and go into service position. Now you'll hear water going through the system and will start to flow through the new membrane.